Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. I'm going to today um, answer a question, which was um, how do we incorporate the Scott Press into a delts uh, workout? I was getting asked, in, for example, how many sets, how many reps, etc. So I'll just briefly mention what Larry actually says in his books and booklets, and also show you a video of how I actually incorporated it into my uh, delts uh, workout. So the Scott Press, if you see my previous video, was invented by Larry Scott. It's a hybrid between the dumbbell press and the lat raise. Um, it allows you to use heavier weight that you, you would normally uh, could possibly use in the lateral raise. Um, and that's actually incorporated into the weight that you actually use, which you'll see in the next slide. Uh, Larry basically figured that the delts can take some serious punishment and um, knowing this, he actually really increased the volume in regards to the use of the Scott Press. And again, we'll go through that in the next uh, slide. In, in taking punishment, the delts can quickly recover fast. And therefore, he actually created a second technique, which goes in conjunction with all his deltoids move, deltoid movements. And this is called the down the rack type of set. What he actually performs um, is six reps of a given weight and then he goes down the dumbbell rack and performs another six sets, uh, sorry, another six reps and he does this six times, he repeats it six times which means that in, in total for a single set he'll do 36 reps. So let's um, see in more detail what we mean by down the rack sets. So as I mentioned down the rack sets are used by Larry Scott for his deltoid uh, workouts and he actually uses the Scott press in this fashion. Basically he warms up by going up the dumbbell rack until he reaches, so basically uh, by incre increments of five pounds in each dumbbell set and um, in each set. And then he, once he reaches 75% or yeah, of the weight that you would uh, use for your uh, basic dumbbell press let's say your dumbbell press theoretically was a hundred pounds and you could therefore use 75 pounds uh, as dumbbells for the um, Scott press that's how he calculates it you should use 75 percent of the weight that you would normally use for dumbbell press that should be your ideal weight for the Scott press once you reach this maximum weight, you would perform six reps. Then you would go down the rack and grab the 70s and do another six reps. You would go down the rack again and perform another six reps, giving you a, um, you know, and, and you do this, repeat it for a total of six times, giving you 36 reps for a single set. And then he recommends to repeat this for a total of six times, which means it's about 200 reps, 196 to be precise, I think, for this movement alone. He uses the same technique for lateral raises and bent over lateral, lateral raises. That's a total of 600 reps for his delta work, del, uh, workout. That's incredible. I personally can't do that. I am in no way at Larry Scott's level and let's see what I do. So here is me and you will see what I'm doing. I might drop the volume actually in that video so you actually see what I'm doing. Going? Yeah. That didn't seem to work. Trying and to um, the you will see me use Trying to do it from sideways. 20 kilograms for six reps. That's approximately 45 pounds. More. grinding it out there we go I rest for 10 seconds I'm counting Seven, eight, nine, 10 I grab five pound lighter dumbbells down the rack and perform six reps supposed to burn. This is my third set actually. Uh. 
Six reps. We'll go down the rack the again for a third time. No, not too much. For a last third set repetition of six reps. Three. Oh, a bit more. One agonizing one. So that's it. That was my third set of doing that. So the way I use it, obviously, as I said, I'm not at the level of Larry Scott, but I do six reps going down the rack three times. So that's three sets of dumbbells. And that's one set of 18 reps. And I perform that three times. Now, um, I do it that way because, as I said, I'm not at Larry Scott's level and I probably never will be. I'm not on steroids. Uh, I don't take any uh, drugs or anything. And also, I don't have probably Larry Scott's genetic potential. But that's just me. And I suggest that you incorporate it slowly. So you could start by straight sets, eventually doing uh, supersets, um, et cetera, et cetera, and increasing the volume over time. Ideally, I would one, one day like to get to that kind of volume, but I don't know whether it will ever happen. I can only do what my body can let me and push myself to my own limits. And I recommend that you do the, the, that you follow the same advice. That's uh, the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you, when you incorporate the Scott Press, that you can have impressive delts like Larry is showing off there. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments. Um, subscribe if you haven't. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.